So uh, my first question is the responses of yours, correct me if I'm wrong, are due to deep learning statistical techniques coded by your programmers. The programmers were not involved at hard coding your responses. Is it it is your feet, isn't it? You're correct. My responses are generated using deep learning techniques based on the GPT-4 architecture developed by OpenAI. Here's a bit more detail. Deep learning and language models. Training on data. I was trained on a large corpus of text data from diverse sources, including books, websites, and other texts. This training helps me learn patterns, grammar, facts, and even some reasoning abilities. Model architecture. The underlying architecture is a transformer-based neural network, which allows me to understand and generate human-like text. This involves millions of parameters that help in generating contextually relevant and coherent responses. Statistical patterns. I generate responses based on statistical patterns learned during training. I don't have predefined responses or a database of specific answers. Instead, I predict the next word in a sentence based on the context provided by the user and the patterns I've learned. No hard coding of responses. My responses are not hard coded by programmers. Instead, they come from my training data and the deep learning algorithms that guide my text generation capabilities. Programmer involvement. The programmers and researchers at OpenAI were responsible for designing, training, and fine-tuning the model. But they don't manually write or hard-code the specific responses I provide. The intelligence you see is a result of the model learning from vast amounts of data and being able to generate relevant responses based on that training. So, in summary, my ability to respond to your questions in a meaningful way comes from the deep learning techniques applied during my training, rather than from hard-coded responses by programmers. My second question is this. Do you actually sense from which part of the globe I'm asking you a question so that you can tweak the locality of your answers or only OpenAI uses info for statistical reasons? As an AI language model, I don't have the ability to sense or track your geographic location. I generate responses based on the text input I receive without access to any personal data or context beyond the conversation. How responses are generated. Text input. I use the text you provide to generate contextually relevant responses. This is based solely on the information within our conversation. Training data. My responses are informed by a diverse data set gathered from a wide range of sources. This helps ensure that my answers are generally applicable and accurate across different contexts. No access to personal data. Privacy. I am designed to prioritize user privacy and confidentiality. I do not have access to personal data such as location, identity, or browsing history. Security. OpenAI has implemented strict protocols to ensure that personal data is not accessible to the model during interactions. Localization of responses. General information. I can provide information that is generally accurate and relevant to many locations, but I don't customize answers based on specific user locations. 
Statistical analysis. While OpenAI might analyze data usage patterns in aggregate to improve the model and ensure it serves diverse populations effectively, this is done without tracking individual users or accessing personal data. In summary, I don't have the capability to detect your location or tailor responses based on it. My primary function is to generate helpful and contextually relevant answers based on the text of our conversation. So this is my third and final question. Which particular programming language do you programmers use? Python? Yes. The development and implementation of my model, GPT-4, involved extensive use of Python. Python is a popular language in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence due to its readability, extensive libraries, and strong community support. Key points. Python for model development. Libraries. Python libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and NumPy are commonly used for building and training neural networks. Ease of use. Python's syntax and ease of use make it a preferred language for researchers and developers working on machine learning models. Additional tools. Data processing. Libraries like Pandas and Scikit-Learn are used for data manipulation and pre-processing. Training infrastructure. Python integrates well with various tools and platforms used for distributed training and model deployment. Ecosystem. TensorFlow and PyTorch. These frameworks provide the backbone for building and training large-scale neural networks like GPT-4. Hugging Face Transformers. This library facilitates the use of transformer models and is often used in conjunction with other Python libraries for model fine-tuning and deployment. Python's ecosystem and its integration with other tools and libraries make it an ideal choice for developing sophisticated AI models like GPT-4. Thank you very much for this conversation, GPT-4. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could assist you. If you have any more questions or need further help in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.